guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am talking about Invisalign. I'm going to talk about what's gone wrong with me, what's gone right with me, um, my before and afters, everything to do with it and also some Q&A questions that I got on my Instagram. So to start off with, um, I have had my Invisalign for... I'm gonna say over a year, yeah, way over a year now, maybe like a year and a half actually. Um, and all in all, I am so happy, so, so happy. So let me start off at the very start. Um, so obviously I have done another blog um, about my whole journey, me actually getting it fitted and everything like that. So go check that out if you are interested in that side of things um, and watching the whole thing unfold and what my teeth like looked before. First off, price. Okay, so I got the Lewis bracket, which was £900. Um, and the reason why I got it is because all I wanted to do was close my gap up. So here is the before and afters. This is me now. And this is me then. So as you can see, there is a difference. Um, that was personally to me one of my biggest insecurities. And I got called out a lot of it, especially on my TikTok and my social media. A lot of people said, oh, fix your teeth and stuff like that. So that really affected me. Um, so I'm not going to lie, it's probably the best thing I've done. I'm so happy with it. Um, right now, I have got my retainer in. So this retainer isn't one of the actual Invisalign retainers. It is the aftercare retainer. So I'm going to start off by telling you the bad bits. So one thing that I didn't know about, which I pretty much sure I asked when I first got there as well, is there going to be any hidden costs? So there is, <laughs> especially with my brand, so my bracket, my pay bracket that I went with. So with the £900 one, I'm not sure about the other ones, but basically they say everything's included. Um, you pay that £900, you're good, you're done. Um, obviously they have monthly deposits as well. Um, so I was like, perfect. Like obviously it's expensive, but if, if you have to pay it, you have to pay it. So I then got to the end of my course. I was like, perfect. Like I've just done my last retainer. I can take it off. All I need to do is wear this one to sleep. And they were like, yeah, that's going to be another 260 pound. And I was like, what? What? Um, so that was for two retainers at the end. Obviously I didn't want one because again, I'll show you in a minute why I didn't want one. Um, I wanted two. Um, you have to have the fitting done. Um, oh, what is there? There's a couple of other bits as well. Um, so I was just a bit shocked by that. And I was like, that, that almost ruined the experience for me. So make sure you ask for any hidden costs. Um, but my friend, Sarah, she went with the other price bracket. And I'm pretty sure hers is included. And she has like unlimited like afterlife retainers. So I'm sure that's not for everyone, but that just happened to me. The next thing I'm going to talk about is obviously they're amazing you get this little lovely case as well and this is i'm sorry this is like these are like my use retainers so this one this was my last retainer okay i ate curry with it in once it looks stained it look at that yeah don't eat curry as you can see can you see it i've bitten straight through it i'm not someone that grinds their teeth when they sleep either this is just like day to day like things for me so for me the material was quite thin and um yeah that happened or maybe i do grab my teeth and see if i don't know um also i found it broke really easy i've got like a weak point in all my retainers so most of my retainers broke in that one same place um i'm not going to lie i didn't use this case the whole time so it's probably my fault as well like maybe i sat on it once and it weakened it and then i put it in my mouth crunched down and it literally fell out and i was like oh my goodness um again this is me not slating the brand this is probably me doing the things wrong so um but i'm still super happy with the results um so this is this retainer um and then this is the aftercare retainer so as you can see i've had to super glue it and it's broken the exact same place again do not super glue your retainers not good do not super glue your retainers that's not good at all um so this is the actual aftercare retainer um as you can see look at the difference so this one here hang on let me get the lighting right this one here kind of like goes up into your gums very uncomfortable this one here kind of like surrounds your teeth so these are the two different types of retainers this is your Invisalign one this is your aftercare one this is really close up oh my gosh i just realized that um so this one really does push up into your gum so that's something to bear in mind with whether you're going to be comfortable wearing a gum shield basically my next negative point and i'm not a negative person so i hate saying this sort of thing i love praising as you guys probably know from my instagram <laughs> praise everything i possibly can. but they basically said once i was finished all i needed to do was wear the retainer to sleep 
So I was like, oh, wow, that's perfect. I had the whole day free. Maybe that'll stop me, like, chewing things. Like, when I talk, I, I like, close my teeth as well. So maybe that'll stop that and my retainer will last a lot longer. However, I felt I would take my retainer out during the day, put it in when I went to sleep. But when I put it in, it almost, if you've ever had braces, you get that clenched type feeling and you almost can't fit it on your teeth. So my teeth actually moved a lot during the day and my mouth was in agony during the night and I really struggled to sleep. So what I do now is I pretty much wear my aftercare retainer 24 seven. So I didn't know that I'd be having to wear my aftercare retainer 24 seven, otherwise I might have considered something different where I didn't have to wear a retainer 24 seven. Um, I'm sure if I keep wearing it, my teeth will get used to it and then maybe I can lead to wearing it in the night. Um, but yeah, that is just my personal experience. So they are pretty much all the bad things and in consideration, most of them are probably my fault anyway. Um, I'm just sharing my experience with you guys. So yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, so again, I'm gonna show you my before and after photos. So this is me um, literally chatting about Invisalign um, when I literally first got Invisalign. Um, and I just used to, didn't used to like my smile at all. Um, let me take my retainer out actually. This is it within, this is it without. <laughs> um so yeah i'm super happy obviously the gap's closed up the one thing they did say is um they couldn't close this gap here which i was a bit gutted about but then again like this was my main thing because that's quite visible for me um so yeah i'm super happy with the results so happy with the results all in all my teeth literally changed week to week honestly like yeah like week to week they changed i couldn't i couldn't believe it um i was so happy as soon as i put the retainer in i was just like this feels so good so with me i had to change my retainers every two weeks um so for example i went from the lightest of resistance retainer and then i had about six six retainers and every two weeks i went up which obviously brought the gap closer closer and closer so it's really not that long of a process for me um i only had the top retainer done because i don't feel like i want to need it um but one of my friends has it and she says the same thing. Um, that happens as well with that one. Um, also, what I think is if you have the bottom retainer, your teeth don't grind as much onto the top retainer. So you're probably not going to get that um, hole in the retainer, which I had. Would I say it's worth it? Absolutely. A thousand percent. If you have the money, um, they do have deposit options and they have monthly payments. I would say go for it. It is... I can't even, I would never just sit here and openly show my teeth. I'd literally purposely, I like changed the way I talked. Um, but now I just feel like I just want to show my teeth. I'm so happy with it. Um, I really, really recommend it. Um, you also get an app as well where you can like see your before and after photos. Um, it is, it's such a good thing and it is a good price for what you're getting. A tip though, always wash your retainer. Always. It's the worst thing ever when you go to sleep. You haven't washed it before you go to sleep and then you wake up and you literally breathe and you're like, what is that so yeah always make you wash your retainer otherwise you're literally gonna feel like your teeth are furry that is all i've got to chat about today i just wanted to make you guys aware of my journey with it um my before and after pictures so you can see if it's worth it or not how long it took bad points and the good points but thank you guys for listening so much and thank you for coming to my weekly vlog make sure you follow the instagram and i will see you at my next weekly vlog make sure to drop any questions below